I want to talk to you today about doing studio photography with the Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II. When, you're, when you want to shoot with studio flashes with the OMD camera and your display goes dark and you want to be able to see your, what you're composing on the screen. Mirrorless cameras have the ability to show you how the picture is going to look. Uh, before you even press the shutter button, the screen is looking at the aperture, the shutter speed, the ISO, and it's going to determine um, what your exposure is going to be on the, on the subject of what your camera is pointing at, and it will give you a picture of that. The thing is, is when we're shooting uh, in the studio with um, studio lights and stuff, well, for one thing, the studio lights are bright. So we're going to be shooting at like the minimum ISO and, and say F9 and then I'm going to shoot at my maximum sync speed which is 250 and that's going to make um, the room go dark. The natural light in the room won't have any input into the picture and only what my flashes light up. So the light, the direction of light, the quality of the light and the intensity of the light is all going to be from the studio strobes and I'm going to use them to compose my image. And that leads us to the problem. So on the Olympus camera there is a setting called boost which is supposed to boost the live view screen so that when my camera is set for these studio settings I can still see um, to compose my image and if I don't turn boost on then my screen is very dark. It's not as dark as it would be if I took the picture but it's very dark and it's hard to see uh, my composition and you know focus is proper and all that. So um, typically we w I would be shooting at a 200 if not a 250th of a second and then I might be shooting at f9 with my strobes even set on a low power but at a close distance I need to dial it down like that and so then as you can see my screen is so dark it's very hard to compose the picture Okay, so now that brings us to, um, this is fine, like if we were outside and we were exposing for natural light, but we're exposing for our, our studio strobes, and it's very bright in my room right now. Okay, so that brings us to the point where if I hit the menu, and I go under the section here that says display, right, and then I go down to the second page, there is a thing right here called Live View Boost and it's grayed out. There's no way I can set it. It's not available. And so if I go on the top of my camera and set it to an intelligent mode, so like let's say I auto, and now it's changed all my exposure settings because the camera is taking over. Now if I go into menu, into display, go to the second page, and there you go. There's live boost. Now I can turn it on for manual shooting. My view will not reflect exposure settings and will be adjusted for optimal viewing. There we go, that's how I want one, right? So I'll hit enter. Right, so it's set to on one. Okay, so now I am going to go back to manual shooting, which is the preferred mode. And so now you can see my camera is set to 250th of a second, F9, ISO 200, and I have a beautifully bright screen. So now I can compose my picture and see where my subject is. So maybe you have this same problem and then this video is for you. And I hope um, what I found and showed and demonstrated on here is going to help you solve your problem too. If you like my video, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and click the like on this video and that will encourage me to make more videos as I find things that are interesting to me or problems that I solve in my studio that I would like to share with you. Thanks for watching.